Trav, we got to talk about it. You always start this with, we got to talk about it. Well, you never want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it, which I get. You want to keep what do you, your private what life private. What makes you think I don't want to talk about you it? Want Obviously, to keep your I private don't. Life private. You've been on record as saying you want to keep your private life private. You're right. Have you found out what Taylor Swift thinks of your mustache? Um, yeah, we're not going to bring up Taylor Swift. Uh... <laughs> I'm having more fun during this time of my life than I've ever had before. I've legitimately never been happier. I'm going to take all my friends to the summit. Is the guy on the Chiefs. How does it feel to officially be uh, the guy on the Chiefs? <laughs> you mean karma? Karma. That's uh, right. <laughs> yeah, no, I had no clue that, uh, well, I might have had a little bit of a clue, but um, definitely when I heard it come out of her mouth, uh, still shocked me. And uh, Yeah, you could tell in the video. I was like, it was pretty... Oh, sh she really just said it. Y'all, things are starting to get a little too cozy in the Taylor and Travis universe. Initially, we heard rumors that the two might be thinking of taking things to the next level and that they are super serious about this whole thing. But now it's not just rumors. Travis's own brother, Jason, has come forward to spill the deets on all that has been going on between these two. And y'all, you better brace yourself for this one because this guy knows a lot. Now that Taylor and Travis have given him the okay to talk to the press, the guy has been talking a lot about how obsessed Travis has gotten with Taylor, but before we get into it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to never miss out on any new videos. It's free and helps us tremendously bring out new content for your enjoyment. And you know it's not new that Jason has started talking about Travis and his obsession with the singer. No, sir. He's been talking about these two for a very long time. In August, just before the NFL season kicked off, Kelsey had a fun chat with his brother on their podcast. Jason, the Philadelphia Eagles player, subtly brought up the topic of a certain singer. When Jason noticed Kelsey's mustache come back, he couldn't resist asking about Taylor Swift's thoughts on the new facial hair. We're not going to bring up Taylor Swift uh, <laughs> in this episode. Um, but something tells me she's going to like it. <laughs> Just a few days after Kelsey spilled the beans about extending the Arrowhead invite, guess who rolled into his sept? 24 game at Arrowhead Stadium? Yep, Taylor Swift. Cameras were all over her during the game as she chilled in Kelsey's suite alongside his mom, Donna Kelsey. And to top it off, they made a stylish exit together in his convertible. Kelsey talked about the epic evening on his podcast with Jason, saying, I'm enjoying life, um, and I sure as hell enjoyed this weekend. In an episode dropped on Sep 27. Shout out to Taylor for, uh, for pulling up. That was pretty ballsy. I just thought it was awesome how everybody in the suite had nothing but great things to say about her you know the the friends and family she looked amazing everybody was talking about her in a in great light he kept the good vibes going sharing to see the slow motion chest bumps to see the, the 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 high fives with mom to uh to see how you know chief's kingdom was all excited that she was there that sh was absolutely hysterical and it was uh it was definitely a game i'll remember that's for damn sure and as they made their exit after the game he spilled the deets and then we just slid off in the getaway car at the end took my chevelle to the game and shout out to taylor for coming through and seeing me rock the stage giving a nod to one of swift's songs getaway car and then jason thought that they needed to discuss the lady more and so he started to bring her up more often in their obsessions and you know what all he had to do was ask one tiny question and Travis would go on and on about her. On another episode of New Heights with Jason and Travis Kelsey, dropping on Oct. 18, Kelsey spilled the beans about his weekend escapades in the Big Apple. And let's just say it was a roller coaster of excitement, including a visit to Saturday Night Live. It was electric to be back in that place. Dude, it's, There's it's just crazy something how much energy's about in there. being in that, that room and just it being their first episode this season i had such a freaking blast man kelsey gushed about his snl cameo having previously hosted the show earlier this year kelsey gave a big shout out to producer lorne michaels for the warm welcome to the show and he couldn't help but express his gratitude for the support they received mentioning uh her and taylor nice. are good friends we showed up at snl having having the uh, the idea of going supporting ice spice now let's talk about the internet buzz surrounding the snapshots and clips capturing the couple's various outings where Kelsey was the perfect gentleman helping Swift in and out of the car and holding her hand. I feel like whenever I'm on a date, I'm, all, I'm always like having like the sense of like, I'm a man in the situation. I, I am, I'm like protective. Yeah, for sure. You always kind of have that feeling or that, uh, 
It's self-awareness, I guess. The Kelsey brothers also dished on the unforgettable moment when Swift engaged in a chat with their dad, Ed Kelsey, at the Chiefs game on Oct. 12 at Arrowhead Stadium. Papa Kelsey in the spotlight. <laughs> if you were watching the game, you saw something uh, momentous happen, which was Taylor Swift talking to uh, Ed Kelsey. You know, Dad. Like, I know, Dad. This is a terrifying <laughs> conversation. I felt terrible for uh, Taylor for being in there. If you see Dad talking to anybody and you can't hear what's happening, who knows where that conversation's <laughs> we going. Can't, we can't. Jason added, both brothers sharing a laugh as they agreed that when it comes to their mom, Donna, there's no need for concern. It's going to be it's fine. delightful. Man. It's going to be All a sudden, wonderful see- conversation. Kelsey assured, especially noting his mom's previous sightings with Swift during games. In a late October episode of New Heights with Jason and Travis Kelsey, the Eagles center spilled the beans to his brother about how his game seems to hit another level when Swift is there cheering him on. When mm. T how Swift not be aware of this? is at the game, you are averaging 99 yards, and when you are left with only your friends and uh, remaining family there, you are at 46.5 yards a game. Jason shared. Kelsey, slightly bewildered, replied, It's hard for me to wrap my head around that sentence, but yeah. The brothers also touched on the unexpected support from Kelsey's coach, Andy Reid, for the budding romance. It appears the Big Red is noticing it because he weighed in. <laughs> That's Andy's, right. Andy's, in his post-game yeah, press love, conference, he was asked uh, about your big game, and his response was, Kelsey keeps getting better with time. Taylor can stay around all she wants. Kelsey couldn't help but grin, saying, "Listen, when you're getting when you're getting Big Red's approval and blessings, you know you're doing something right." Fast forward a few days, and a curious reporter at a Kansas City Chiefs press conference probed Kelsey about being in love. With a smile, he kept it coy, saying, um, "I'm going to keep my personal relationship personal." Kelsey's trip to Argentina to catch Swift's performance in early November was nothing short of eventful. The duo had a cozy date night, complete with savoring local delights like empanadas and a hearty steak. They're big on uh, all the different beef cuts of meat. Got some, nice. uh, got some good steak down there, man. He enthusiastically shared with brother Jason during the Novno 15 New Heights podcast. However, there was a slight hiccup as Swift had to postpone a show due to thunderstorms which Kelsey acknowledged wasn't a pleasant moment for her. But when it's unsafe to her and her, her crew and everybody in the stadium, you got to do what you got to do. I think it ended up being perfect. Everybody got everybody got to go. In the midst of the unexpected break, Kelsey seized the opportunity to work his charm on Swift's dad, Scott, playfully claiming he successfully converted him from a Philadelphia Eagles fan to a devoted Kansas City Chiefs supporter. Ah, uh, the power of persuasion, even in the world of football fandom. And then, the level of obsession has gotten so far that he's even discussing Tay's Valentine gifts with his brother. On their podcast, New Heights, Travis Kelsey and his brother, Jason, playfully bantered about the pressure of getting the romance celebration just right for Travis's girlfriend. During an ad read for their sponsor Etsy in an episode, Jason cheekily shared his approach to Valentine's Day shopping for his wife Kylie, confessing, That's kind of a lie. I usually do it last second, just like every other man out here on the planet. But Etsy is the place I go to. Do you have anything in mind yet? I usually get the same chocolates every year Ooh, and the same flowers. Adorable. Oh my gosh, and chocolate and then a card. Travis couldn't resist chiming in. Whether you're feeling the Valentine's Day pressure like Jason and I or trying to figure out the right gift for a significant other, Etsy is the go-to destination for adding that special touch. On the latest episode of his New Heights podcast, the 34-year-old tight end spilled the beans about pop sensation Taylor Swift's triumphant return to a Massachusetts venue, this time as a football enthusiast rather than the headlining musician. In a conversation with his brother and podcast co-host, Philadelphia Eagles center Jason Kelsey, Travis gushed. They showed Taylor at the game. You don't see an entire home team fan base go insane for somebody wearing the opposite team's colors. It just shows you how amazing that girl is. They went absolutely insane when they showed Taylor on the screen. Swift, decked out in a Chiefs sweatshirt and beanie, was there to cheer on Travis and the Kansas City Chiefs in their face-off against the New England Patriots, ultimately securing a 27-17 victory. Accompanied by her dad, Scott Swift, and friends Alana Haim and Ashley Avignon, 
the anti-hero singer's presence on the jumbotrons before the game stirred up a mix of excitement and a few boos from the crowd. There might have been a few Brads and Chads that were booing, but for the most part, <laughs> Brad's and Chads. everybody was fucking screaming their tail off. That's awesome. Them. Travis humorously shared on New Heights, referring to Swift's recent Time Person of the Year interview. I was trying to keep it cool. I was like, don't show, don't. Don't show your cards. Don't show your cards. <laughs> Taylor's on board, or she's on record saying that uh, that stadium's uh, one of the funnest that she's played at. So uh, for them to show her is uh, just kind of, I guess, showing her some uh, some love. So awesome. shout out to the uh, Patriots for doing that. So what do you think? Comment down below and let us know. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities.